Today I'm going to show you a few different angles of what it looks like to weave at my loom. This loom is from the brand Tools of the Trade and it's a four shaft floor loom. I bought this from a friend of mine here in town and I just love weaving on it. I can do really complicated looking patterns that are actually quite easy to do once the loom is all set up. Here I'm showing you what my feet are doing as I weave. You can see that there are six treadles, these pedal-like things, and I'm pushing those treadles in the sequence that I'm instructed to do by the pattern. You can see that those treadles are connected to jacks that move up and down and those in turn are connected to the shafts which you'll see when I move the camera up so you can see what my arms are doing. So my feet move in a repeated pattern pushing down, changing feet moving to a different treadle, and I repeat these same actions over and over and over again for the whole length of the project that I'm working on. I do like to weave barefoot. I like to be able to feel the treadles really closely under my feet. Notice that there are six treadles and I don't always want to be looking down to see which one my feet are on. And so when I weave barefoot, I can feel the treadles, not just the one that I'm stepping on, but the ones on either side as well, which gives me an idea of where my feet are placed. In this case, my left foot is pushing down treadles one and two, and my right foot pushes down treadles three and four. The last two treadles, number five and six, are not used at this part of the pattern. So I only have four treadles to pay attention to, and by weaving barefoot, I can really easily reach out a toe and see what treadle is next to me. While my feet are doing this, my hands are doing something completely different. So take a look at this. Here you can see that I'm holding a shuttle. The shuttle contains a bobbin of yarn, and that yarn is the weft yarn. Weft is the part of the fabric that, in this case, is horizontal, goes back and forth, and it's that beautiful pink wool. The warp yarn, you can see, is the yarn that goes lengthwise of the project, and it's the light gray yarn that you can see. The warp yarn is connected to both the front and the back of the loom, and the loom itself keeps the warp under tension. The weft yarn, though, is completely managed by hand. And so you can see that I throw the shuttle from right to left, and then I pull back on the beater, which pulls that yarn down snug with the yarn before it, and then I throw the shuttle the opposite direction from left to right and pull down on the beater. You can see what a nice straight line that makes in the cloth in front of me. Meanwhile, my feet are doing what you just saw my feet do. My feet are moving back and forth across those four treadles, and you can see the shafts moving up and down of the loom as I push on the treadles that control those. So the hand motion is really repetitive because it's just one way beat, the other way beat. It just goes back and forth and back and forth, very repetitive, and it's really easy to get into a rhythm and not have to think too much 
about what my hands are doing. And that way I can concentrate more on what my feet are up to. You can see across the front of the loom, I have a series of sticky notes. And on those post-its, that's where I have the pattern that my feet are treadling. And so that's what I pay attention to the most while I'm weaving. My hands get into the rhythm of the back and forth. My eyes focus on the sticky notes so that I'm following the pattern of the weaving and my feet move back and forth across the treadles. As I continue to weave, the fabric gets closer and closer to the beater and I have to crank it forward on the loom. I can roll it forward so that I have more weaving space. You can see that the shuttle starts to get closer and closer to the uh, between the edge of the fabric and the beater. And so uh, you can see how the fabric is rolled on to the front of the loom down below where I'm weaving. So my feet are treadling and my hands are controlling the shuttle. So now take a look at what it looks like all together. So here's what it looks like when you put it all together. My feet are treadling the pattern. My hands are controlling the weft yarn using the shuttle and the beater. You can see from this angle how those warp threads get separated. They get pulled upward so that there's room for the shuttle to go through and that's part of what helps make the pattern. The treadles control which shafts go up, which pull up on warp threads, and the pattern that those threads are pulled up is what creates the pattern in the cloth. It's really easy to get into kind of a meditative mode when I'm weaving. I don't have to think a lot about what my hands are doing. They're just tossing the shuttle back and forth and pulling back on the beater. It's very repetitive and soothing. And my feet follow the same pattern over and over and over again. This one was a fairly short pattern. There were only really four repeats to it. The next pattern that I do on this same warp, the second scarf that I make on here, is even easier. After a while, I usually memorize the treadling pattern and can just do it over and over again. But I do always pay attention to my pattern because it is easy to get distracted by the TV or by the audiobook I'm listening to or here in just a second you're going to see that Captain Tony has decided to fly into the living room and uh, he can be a distraction as well. But this is what it looks like to weave. Here's Tony. It's so sunny, it's almost hard to film today, but I'm at a neat part of the process, so I wanted to show this. I have just finished up this pattern, and you can really see the texture here with the sunshine. There's these sort of ovals and diamond shape. And I have reached 76 inches in length, which is my length. So the next thing I'm going to do is I just switched over to a gray bobbin that matches the warp threads. And so I'm going to weave just a, maybe a quarter inch header here and hem stitch. And then I'm going to advance the warp enough to leave a fringe and start the next scarf. But this is what's so cool. The threading is going to stay the same. I'm not going to change anything back here at all. That's all going to stay the same. And on my back beam back there, I have a whole other um, length of scarf warped. So I'll have another 76 inch scarf that's all out of this same warp material. 
This pink scarf has been woven with this treadling pattern. But the next scarf that I'm gonna do, which is gonna be in this beautiful turquoise color with this same, of course, gray background. The warp won't change, just the weft color. And the treadling pattern is gonna change. So the threading stays the same, the warp stays the same. I'm even using the same weight yarn, it's just a different color for the weft, but it is going to be an entirely different looking pattern. It's not gonna look like this at all. So I'm gonna weave the header, I'm gonna hem stitch it, and then I'm gonna advance the warp so that I've got plenty of fringe for the pink scarf, and then I will weave the header and hem stitch and start weaving the blue scarf. And I'll show you how different these two patterns look by just changing the treadling. It's gonna be really cool. So here the pattern's starting to emerge. You can see it looks very different from the pink one. This one is more in a wave pattern. There's these chevrons. So instead of the diamonds and circles of the pink pattern, this has um, just um, maybe triangles you would call them, but it's a, a wavy kind of pattern, which is why I chose to use this turquoise yarn. And uh, the reason that is, is even though the warp yarn is exactly the same. I'm still working on the same warp. Even though the weft yarn is the same size and brand of yarn, it's just a different color, the one thing that has changed is the treadling sequence. And so now I'm just doing treadles 4321, 4321, 4321 over and over again, and it's making this beautiful wavy chevron pattern. So I'm gonna keep weaving and we'll see how this turns out. Mm -hmm. 